everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial by Rexbury. And let's start by getting this out of the way. Alright, so yes, you heard it right. This is yet another tutorial, uh, not another Let's Draw in Game Maker, okay? Um, the, la the, excuse me, the last video that I was uh, making the Let's Draw, and whoa, there's a hummingbird outside. Okay, sorry, I was just looking at the hummingbird out there. Um, anyway, um, yeah, the last video that I did of my Let's Draw on Game Maker, uh, I'm probably going to end up finishing that. Uh, probably, hopefully, like, putting a body on it and stuff. But um, I'm not, like, I'm not going to do it right away. It might be, like, maybe in a couple weeks, months. Hopefully not a year. But it might be a year. I don't know. But anyway, if you're uh, looking forward to that, don't really count on it to be coming out too soon. Um, I mean, I never know when I'm going to finish it, but you know. Um, so anyway, today uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to modify masks on your sprites in Game Maker. This does not require Game Maker Pro as far as I know. Um, no, no it doesn't. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't require Game Maker Pro. And uh, yeah, so basically, uh, let's get started here. First you want to do, or uh, excuse me, first thing you want to do is create a sprite. And so basically, for those of you who don't know what Modify Masks is, um, well basically it's over here on the right panel, or side, whatever you want to call this, of the uh, basic sprite um, options over here. And you might not have these options um, on the right here opened up to you, or, um, yeah, opened up to you, I guess. Um, and the reason for, like, when you first start Game Maker, and the uh, reason for that is you might not have Advanced Mode on. So to go to uh, to get advanced mode on, you want to go to file and advanced mode. Just click it once, and a little uh, black check mark should appear when you click it. So yeah, I'm not going to turn it off right now. You can always turn it off and on, and toggle it off and on or whatever. But um, I already have it on, and so I'm just going to keep it on for now. All right. So anyway, basically, I'm just going to create some ground right now, some very simple ground. All right. So I will just name it S P R underscore ground. All right, and I'm just going to edit the sprite and create a new sprite, 32 by 32 pixels, or whatever. All right, now I'm just going to do a simple block here, and just for fun, maybe some uh, kind of little grass effects there or whatever. Horrible grass effects, or excuse me, grass effects, effects, I don't know. Anyway, um, and some just terrible shading. But this is my drawing. I can do with it what I will. And that looks pretty darn good, um, in my opinion, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't look good at all. But it will do. All right, open the show preview there. All right, looks okay. Hit the green check mark, save changes. All right, and we're not going to actually modify the masks just yet. Uh, we're just going to click OK for now, and we're just going to create one more sprite. And I'm just going to name this one SPR underscore uh, player. All right. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And for my player, I'm just going to create 32 by 32. All right. And I'm just going to make him a regular square. But instead of, whoa. All right. But instead of a black border and a uh, inside color or white inside color, I'm going to change the inside color to this p random pink kind of thing. And the outside border to a yellow, just because I can and I want to. All right, so anyway, uh, just for fun, I'm just going to give him an eye so you can distinguish that he is a character, not a random block. And these are some horrible eyes. I am aware of that. Don't comment on it. Well, I guess you can, but I mean, you know. You know how it is. All right, so let's undo that. Let's undo that again. All right, there we go. And there we go. And a little mouth. Okay, he doesn't look too happy, but you know. You know how that is. He probably just wants to actually be used in a real game, not a tutorial. And I'm talking to an inanimate object that's not even real. It's just on my computer, and I better stop rambling before I ramble too much. And I, yeah. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's just create two objects here. First object, as you probably guessed, is going to be our OBJ underscore ground. Alright, and for the sprite, I'm going to choose my ground sprite, and all you have to do is just click it solid, hit OK. Alright, and for our player, 
we are going to go obj underscore player. And you have if you already have a player, you don't have to do this. Um, there's nothing special you really have to do with the player. Um, so yeah. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do some open that back up here. Do some regular uh, simple simple player movements and everything. And I will come back to you guys when I get done because for some reason I can't fast forward with my recording material or editing software, uh, not recording software. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a second after I finish this. All right. So yeah. Hey everyone, how's it going? I am back. All right. So basically, all I did is just your basic movements: your step with all the gravity, your um, collision with the ground, and your left-right movement stuff. Okay, and I also took the uh, took the liberty or er, liberty, not liberty. Okay, whatever. Um, liberty of making my room and just laying out my ground as well as my player. All right. So now we can get to the modifying the masks for our ground sprite. Um, you can also do this to any uh, any sprite, but uh, I'm just going to do it for my ground to show you kind of a uh, preview of what it looks like. All right, so just double click on your ground sprite, and now you want to go to over here on the right panel, or options, you want to go modify mask, and just keep everything here the same. All right, so anyway, when you click that, this little box will come up. It says SPR underscore ground, mask properties, and all that stuff, and, um, <coughs> uh, excuse me. So I'm going to enlarge this here. Actually, no, never mind. I'm going to delarge that. All right. So basically, um, this is where all your um, kind of like hotspot or pivot points or whatever are determined. So it's basically where um, the collision points are kind of being set. So I'm just going to zoom into my sprite here a little bit by hitting this uh, magnifying glass over here with the plus sign. All right. Zoom that in by a lot. All right, and basically, and this little check mark up here that says show collision, uh, collision mask, excuse me, if I uncheck that, you'll see that our sprite comes back to our regular color that it, that it was before. Um, when I click this, it turns a little darker. Um, basically, I'm going to check mark that. It's showing where exactly you, um, the collision uh, point is kind of determined, or your mask, or whatever. So, um, let's see... I'm just going to go, if you want to like reset this, which I'm going to, um, you want to go to manual. Uh, by default, it's on automatic, but um, I'm just going to go to manual. And what you want to do here is um, you want to just go anywhere on your image, click, and drag. And as you can see, I'm dragging this little box here, or creating rather, this little box here, and I can determine, uh, determine its width and height. Um, so basically, I'm just going to drag it right there. A little, a little below the grass. So um, that that's basically, um, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, so basically, this box that I just drew, this box right here, is what will be solid in this sprite. Whatever is not in this big uh, gray box is basically just kind of nothing. Um, so basically, not solid. Your player will fall right through it, and when he hits this, uh, the edge of this box here that I've just drawn, he will stop. All right? And uh, you could also draw like little boxes and stuff and yeah, but I don't know why do you want to why would you want to do that? So why you would want to do that? Oh my goodness. Okay. So anyway, and you can also uh, you can also change the shape by uh, down here where it says precise. That's just basically just a uh, box or whatever. Um, or you can choose rectangle and it's just like the same thing or a disk. All right? Or a diamond. But I like to just keep it on precise. All right, and also right here you can just change the coordinates of the uh, of the collision box. Like I don't know, let's do that 12 for the top, for the right uh, 45. So yeah, basically you guys probably get that. You can tinker around with that a little later. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep it right there. All right, and also you can change the uh, bounding box or uh, collision box or whatever uh, from here. So if you want the whole thing to be the bounded or whatever choose that or just automatic which is the default but I'm gonna choose manual alright so now just hit OK and hit OK alright now I'm gonna run my game and show you guys what happened but first I'm going to change the view of your uh, or of my uh, recording software guys I don't want you guys to see my desktop because when I play the game it gets smaller and yeah so I'll see you guys in just a second here hey everyone how's it going I'm back and let's start by getting this out of the way Okay, now as you can see, our player uh, right here 
when uh, when he moves and collides with the box, he doesn't collide on the very top of our boxes or ground here. He collides where we put that uh, little bounding box or collision point. Um, so yeah, basically that's what bounding boxes are or collision points, whatever you want to call those. Um, that's what they do. And uh, so you can really, um, as you can see, you can really do a lot with those. Uh, you can tinker around with the uh, rest of the options over there. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much the basics of what they do. And uh, so if I were to go back and set it all the way down here, then my player would be falling all the way down there. So uh, yeah, basically um, that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, fairly simple. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, there will be more on the way. And feel free to request more tutorials. And uh, I'll get around to making them probably the next day or the day after that. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, this has been Rex Furry with another game tutorial. There will be more on the way. And uh, have a great day. See ya.